Hello people of the internet, my name is Johnny and welcome back to another update video. I guess it's it's an update, but these posts were made in the past, so kind of updating you guys on stuff that has already happened. Basically, we're going to be going over Scott's Reddit, um, what he's been posting since the release of Help Wanted, because I have not been on there in a long time, because I didn't want to have spoilers for Help Wanted, but now that i finished it, we are going to go take a look at what he's posted on there, and I have read all of them, and they are pretty, um, they're pretty interesting, and explain why stuff like Showtime is not in the game, why stuff like the button at the bottom of the exotic photos basket doesn't work, so that, it explains a lot, so if you guys are confused on those things, this video is going to help explain that. We're going to start off by clarifying something that Scott wants to make obvious, and that is the Silver Parasol Games website. If you guys um, remember Silver Parasol Games in the FNAF universe, is the company that made the Freddy Fazbear Virtual Experience, and Scott actually wanted to create a real-life, fully functioning website that you can go to for Silver Parasol Games, but he scrapped that idea, and someone, um, Scott, someone at Steel War Studios, I believe, went through with the idea and created it himself, so someone posted spoilers. I found one result on Google for Silver Parasol Games. The link has been deleted, but Scott has remained... Scott kept his comment saying, Hey guys, I'm sorry to disappoint, but it looks like that graphic designer just used a bunch of random stuff to throw together a mock page. It doesn't have anything to do with anything. So yeah, the, someone at Steel World Studios just kind of threw random stuff onto that website to make it look like Scott went through the I went through with the idea of creating a website, but he did not, and... The, the website doesn't mean anything. I'm pretty sure it's been taken down, seeing as the link was deleted, but I cannot confirm that. This next post should actually clarify that even more, seeing as this is Scott's official post about the Silver Parasol Games website. Hey everyone, I wanted to make a post to officially clear up the confusion about this mysterious Silver Parasol Games website. It caught me off guard today, and there were a lot of details I didn't understand, like why a guy in Pakistan had the logo and had a website created using it, but I think I have a good handle of what happened here. When we were making the game, myself and Steerwool, I thought it would be fun to have a logo for the mysterious other game developer mentioned in the game, so I had a logo created for it. At the time, I had plans to go... I... <laughs> I can't read. If you guys know me, I can't read. At all. At the time, I had plans to even go as far as making a whole website for them, but then decided against it. After all, there was a fine line between creating, crafting an in-game story, and just outwardly, outwardly lying about something. I didn't want to cross that line. I decided against creating a website, but decided to leave the logo in the game, since it was in-game after all. After doing a little more research today, it turns out that a graphic designer had actually thrown together a mock-up page for it already and put it up on his personal graphic design page. Edit, this was one of the designers working for the company who was going to design the website for me because I cancelled the project, that's how he got the logo. Before I cancelled the project, that's how he got the logo, sorry, again, can't read. And yes, that's my personal phone number. I'm honestly not sure why that number would have been on that site in the first place. All I can do is ask for everyone to respect my privacy. My number has actually already been out there for a few months. I donated to someone's school online fundraising page a while back and got doxxed using my donation info shortly after. So I guess it was about time to get a new phone, <laughs> phone number anyway. Until then, just be aware I won't be answering any calls from unknown numbers. Now I, like I said, have not been on Reddit, so I had no clue that this even happened in the first place, so, um, but Scott's edit afterwards, edit too. I want to call attention to the fact that ever since I made this post several hours ago, I haven't received a single new phone call other than a few numbers who kept calling over and over, and I had to block. That's a real testament to this community. I've been really amazed by it. 
I'll obviously still be changing my number in the morning, but you all, but you have all really impressed me today. I wanted to make sure I said that. Thank you. That is just absolutely incredible. The fact that, and you guys can see this, but it's off screen. The Five Nights at Freddy's Reddit has 63.1 thousand members in it, and the majority of them, a huge majority of them, did not call Scott and respected his privacy. Like Scott said, that is incredible. That just proves that this community is so good and so nice to Scott for what he's done for us. It's just, it's crazy. Someone then made a post saying that the animations in this game are probably some of the absolute best in the entire series, and they provided two animations of Glitztrap reaching out his arm in one of the endings and then shushing the player when he's behind the door in the secret ending. Scott then replied with, definitely the best in the series. I did the best I could while it was up to me, but I can't compete with the guys over at Steel Wolf. Those guys are top shelf. It's the difference between a hobbyist and a professional. And I will agree, these animations are freaking awesome. Animations, textures, the models, they are just amazing. And the fact that they're all in a VR game is just unbelievable. Steel Wool and Scott did an amazing job with this game. Man Man Boy with two eyes made a post saying FNAF VR is pretty cool. Also, here's a house I made for Chica made out of exotic butters. I have no words. We, oui, this is the fine art. I don't know what accent that was. But yeah, this is obviously a joke post, but Scott actually did reply to it with a funny remark. Scott replied with, finally, someone has realized the full potential of this game as well as the full potential within themselves, which is just too good. It's too good. It's, it's really not that funny, but it's too, it's, it's too good. I don't know how many times I can say it. It's hilarious. And of course, no FNAF game is without its awesome fan art. We have two here, one by Turntail, the one you're seeing now. Scott replied with, I had to take a second look at this because it almost looks like an actual suit. Leave it to this fanbase to take something creepy and find a way to make it creepier. Turntail then replied with, oh wow, thanks Scott, and thank you for yet another game full of new content to draw. And then another fan art made by Games Production, the one you are seeing right now. And Scott replied saying, like I said in the comments of another picture a minute ago, Leave it to this fan base to take something creepy and make it creepier. This is horrifying. Games Production then replying with, OMG man, you're here. I have no words, LMAO. Thanks a lot. It's always great to see Scott engaging with the fan base and all the stuff that they're making with the models and all the stuff that they're drawing. It's just, it's really nice to see that he cares about the fans and that he just... He loves the community so much, and I think that really shows when stuff like this happens, which is, it, it's so nice to see, honestly. It's really nice. We do have one more thing to look at. I've saved possibly the best for last, and that is Scott discussing Showtime and the secret images. Scott made a post five days ago saying, concerning Showtime and the secret images. Hey everyone, just wanted to comment on a couple of things. Showtime and the mysterious secret images. Showtime was left out of the game because it didn't feel right. It's not that it was unfinished necessarily. There may be some bits and pieces floating around of incomplete versions, but there was in fact a completed version. I made the call to leave it out though. It's one of those things that needs to feel 110% to me and that may or may not ever happen. About the secret images, Aaron Fetcher himself, the creator of Showbiz Pizza, was nice enough to take those pictures for me specifically for this project. I had, want I had wanted some cool images of animatronic parts and went, straight for and, and went straight to him for them. However, I removed them when people traced them back to Showbiz Pizza. I'd hope they were obscure enough not to not be so easily identified. 
I obviously didn't want to connect the two and make people think that the Freddy's was based and make people think that Freddy's was based on Showbiz. That's also why I didn't include his name. I loved Showbiz Pizza and Aaron Fetcher has been terrific every time I've gotten to talk to him. I just didn't want to send any negative negative attention his way, so I deleted the pictures. I hope that clears things up. So the secret images would appear on the monitor near the prize counter when you hit the button at the bottom of the exotic photos basket, but now you may know that when you do hit the button in the current build of the game, nothing happens and the monitor just flashes. And I'm sure that's going to stay that way for the rest of the game. I'm sure... Alright, there's two possibilities right now. Possibility one, it stays like that and the screen just flashes. Or possibility two, they end up removing it and there's no button. And they may even remove the monitor, but it does add a bit of atmosphere. I don't think that they'll be adding the secret images back in. And if they were to add something to the monitor, I'm sure it would just be like some behind the scenes of Help Wanted. Kind of like what we see during the anniversary um, of FNAF on ScottGames.com. Sometimes Scott releases some behind the scenes images of him making FNAF, which was always cool to see. If they were to add more things to the game and they wanted to do something with the monitor, I'm sure it would be something like that. But for right now... I don't think that they're going to do anything with it. Showtime was also a big concern for everyone because everyone was super, super excited and then the game came out and the Showtime button did absolutely nothing. Even when you completed the entire game, got all the endings, got all the achievements, everything in the prize counter, all of that stuff, the Showtime button still did not activate. And based on Scott's post, I don't think we will ever be seeing a Showtime in the game at all. If he were to add in the the showtime, I'm sure he would just have the animations of the characters moving around. Foxy, Bonnie, Chica, Freddy, all those people just moving around on the stage because they are on the stage. If you have enough room in your room, you can actually walk all the way over behind the stage curtain and you can see Foxy, Bonnie, and Freddy just hanging out on stage waiting for the showtime button to be pressed. So obviously, the showtime was removed pretty late um, in the development of the game, and you can still find the animations of the characters and the music and their voices all in the gameplay files of the game, which I will play for you guys shortly. But for right now, I don't think Scott is going to do anything with showtime. At the very least, he has other intentions for the button, as mentioned in this post. Someone commented saying, thank you for clarifying this, Scott. If I may ask if it was removed, why was the button kept? Scott replied saying, might use the button for something else in the future. Winky face. And we all know how Scott is with his winky faces. So at this moment in time, I don't think Showtime will ever happen. And honestly, I'm fine with that. I, I would have loved to see the characters at the very least moving around maybe some background music. I honestly don't care if none of the characters have voices. I just really wanted to see them perform. So there, there goes my <laughs> wish out the window, the window, the window, but I'm fine with that. Though there are videos out there of the characters performing and I'm gonna show that to you guys right now. So thank everyone so much for watching and enjoy what would be showtime Hello, everybody. You ready to have a good time? I know I am. Cause it's Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. For kids, it's number one. Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Where fantasy meets fun. Fun not actually guaranteed. Well, let's meet the band. My name is Freddy. I'm the singer in the band. Got a hat and a big bow tie. Well, I'm a big brown bear, but don't be scared. I'm a real fun-loving guy. Bonnie's my name. I'm hopping along with floppy ears and a cotton tail. My guitar is blazing. This rabbit's hair raising. Just listen to me wail. Take it, Bonnie. <laughs> Get your pizza by the pound. Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, where all the kids are safe and sound. Right.
Fazbear Entertainment offers absolutely no guarantees regarding guest safety. Hey, I'm Chica, the lady of the group. My singing is a treat. So sweet. But keep an eye on your pizza. Cause I'm a bird who likes to eat. Nom, 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 nom. Finally, this foxy. One eye and a hook for a hand. He hangs out over in Pirate's Cove. Now you've met all the members of the band. <laughs> Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. The fun just can't be beat. Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. It's time for us to eat. For the next hour, add meat to any kid's pizza for just a dollar. And if your parents really love you, they'll buy you a 32-ounce Freddy Fountain drink. And don't forget, all the popular kids sign up for our mailing list and get free stuff on their birthday. Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, where fantasy meets fun. Freddy Fazbear, Freddy Fazbear.